My name is Tracy Fox, an instructor at Thomas Jefferson University's Department of Radiologic and Imaging Sciences. And this presentation is on transducer covers for general purpose and endocavitary scanning. Ultrasound is used in several specialty areas, such as abdominal, GYN, transrectal, vascular, interventional procedures such as PIC line insertion, surgery, anesthesia, and emergency medicine. These studies require that you understand the procedures of infection control and the appropriate use of transducer covers. For non-sterile studies, such as open wound scanning, a completely sterile field is not necessary. For sterile studies, completely unfolding and placing the transducer cover allows the sterile field to be established, thus promoting patient and staff safety. Always place drapes on surfaces, ultrasound equipment, and instrument trays within the designated sterile field. This presentation will concentrate on barrier technology for general purpose and endocavitary ultrasound. Let's begin with an introduction to the procedures of infection control. In the healthcare setting, we need to be concerned with the spread of infectious diseases including, but not limited to, bacteria such as multidrug resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA or MRSA, fungi, and viruses such as hepatitis, HIV, herpes simplex type 2, influenza, and VRE. The patient's medical history may not present the healthcare worker with a full picture. Therefore, we follow what is called universal precautions. The principle of universal precautions is to treat every patient as if he or she has a communicable disease. For non-invasive studies on unbroken skin, transducer covers are not typically used unless there is the potential for contamination with blood or body fluids. However, in the presence of open sores, skin lesions, or open wounds, a transducer cover should always be used. General purpose transducer covers are available in many materials, widths, and lengths. Specialized folding techniques of the covers allow for either a single person or dual person approach to application using proper sterile technique. Covers designed for use in a sterile environment usually provide a long telescoping extension that will cover the cord of the transducer extending the sterile field. We are working with a clean but not sterile transducer and a non-sterile probe cover, such as you might use for routine scanning when there was potential for contamination of the transducer with blood or body fluids. Create an opening in your cover for gel, then apply gel in the transducer cover. Once the gel is in the cover, place the transducer in the cover and extend the cover down over the length of the cord. Check carefully and remove any air bubbles that are between the transducer face and the cover. Apply elastic bands to secure the cover in place. First, establish a sterile field by opening a sterile drape or procedure kit. Drop the cover and other contents of the pack onto the sterile field. Next, put on sterile gloves using standard technique. Open the pack to expose the cuff area of the gloves touching only what will be inside of the glove. Get the first glove on, and then the second glove. Using the single person approach to applying a general purpose transducer cover, open the sterile gel packet, then create an opening in the cover and apply gel. Once the gel is in the cover, place over the array of the transducer and extend the cover down over the length of the cord, ensuring proper sterile technique. Check carefully and remove any air bubbles that are between the transducer face and the cover. While remaining in the sterile field, apply enclosed sterile elastic bands to secure the cover in place. Using the dual person approach to applying a general purpose transducer cover, the non-sterile person opens the procedure kit, placing it onto the sterile tray. The sterile person opens the sterile gel packet and creates an opening in the cover and applies gel. The non-sterile person places the transducer into the cover. The sterile person then extends the cover down over the length of the cord, ensuring proper sterile technique. 
check carefully and remove any air bubbles that are between the transducer face and the cover. While remaining in the sterile field, apply enclosed sterile elastic bands to secure the cover in place. Body orifices are not considered a sterile environment, so most transvaginal studies do not require the use of a sterile cover. The objective of the cover is to prevent gross contamination of the transducer with blood and or body fluids and to prevent the transmission of disease to the next patient and the healthcare professional. Let's go through the steps to prepare a transvaginal transducer for endocavitary scanning. We'll begin with the transducer being soaked in a disinfecting solution. At a minimum, gloves and eye protection should be worn whenever working with a disinfecting solution, particularly glutaraldehyde-based solutions. Remove the transducer from the disinfecting solution. The transducer should have been thoroughly cleaned after the previous use and before being placed in the disinfecting solution. Thoroughly rinse the sterilizing solution from the transducer and dry with a soft cloth. There are several types of transvaginal transducer covers available. The most fundamental choice is a cover that matches the shape and form factor of the transducer you are using. Transducer covers are available in sterile and non-sterile forms in a variety of materials including latex and several latex-free alternatives such as proprietary materials like Sivflex or NeoGuard. If you're not sure which cover to use, refer to your ultrasound manual for your recommended accessory supplier. So, now that we have an overview of some of the types of transducer covers that are available, let's take a look at how the transducer covers are applied. Apply gel inside the transducer cover and place the transducer cover onto the transducer. Check carefully and remove any air bubbles that are between the transducer face and the transducer cover. Some labs use elastic bands to secure the cover. When done, wrap or cover the transducer until ready for use. When performing a transrectal ultrasound, there are several types of transducer covers available. Transrectal ultrasound is an invasive procedure that may involve tissue biopsy or brachytherapy, seed or marker implantation. Some transducers use a double cover method to create a balloon or water bath through which to scan. This involves placement of one cover that forms the inner layer. This cover must include the gel covering the transducer face. Both the inner and the outer cover are secured to the transducer with enclosed elastic bands. This allows the outer cover to be filled with water to create a balloon that will displace any air between the cover and the wall of the rectum. An alternative covering method for transrectal procedures may involve use of an endocavitary balloon. This transducer standoff device is an alternative example of how to perform scanning and transperineal procedures for needle guidance, core biopsy, fiducial marker placement, brachytherapy, or cryotherapy. Placing the appropriate amount of gel inside the endocavity balloon or on the transducer face aids in scan quality, application, and removal of the balloon. Inserting the transducer into the balloon with the fill tube oriented in top center of the transducer, pull the balloon tightly over the transducer face, removing wrinkles or air bubbles. Visually orientate the balloon so lateral seams are a symmetrical distance from the longitudinal array. Use a 30cc syringe to fill the balloon with saline solution. Aspirate until air is removed. Do not overinflate the balloon.